Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another video. Today is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be doing code. We're not going to be opening up Unity. However, we're going to be playing a game that has been made with Unity and I've been a little bit part of the development as a consultant. And I've said that this is a game, but technically it's not a completed game just yet. It's only the level designer. It's over here on clockdickens.com level designer index.html. Um, link is also going to be in the description. This one is public so everybody can have a look at it and uh, actually play it. What you're seeing right here is a build running in WebGL. We plan to have this running for mobile as well. And uh, well, WebGL is fine plus mobile. So these two platforms will be hosting our game once it's completed. And uh, meanwhile, we have a level designer in which we can create level um, over WebGL. So why am I showing this to you right now if it's not completed? Well, it is because you have a chance to become a level designer for this game. In case you feel like it, in case you want to uh, apply some creative magic to it, you can go ahead, create a level, submit it, and have your name in the credit for this game. And this is what I'll be doing right now, actually. I'll introduce you to the game as I make a level. So, the UI is quite simple. You have a bunch of different things you can drag and drop in here. Cells, and me. Um, you can change the background of it. And you can also change the game speed. If I press play, so you actually see what the game is about. It's about this little bacteria going around cells and you have to infect all the cells. And also if you can, you don't have to, it's optional. If you can, you collect the three little bubbles here. So let me go ahead and complete this level so you guys can see. Oh, I missed one, but I'm still going to complete the level. And then um, when you complete the level, you have the chance to save the replay and then you'll be sending that over to our studio and the studio will decide whether or not the level is good enough to be featured in the game. Now, um, you're gonna be in the credit if it does, of course. So let me go ahead and just create a small level. I, have something, I had something in mind I wanted to create um, the other day. I wanted to do something like a really, really big jump from one place to another. So maybe something of the sort. I'll be using the momentum from this moving cell to jump on this one and maybe make this a shrinking cell. So there's a couple of different things I invite you to play around with. Um, some of the cells can be put on paths. As you can see, this one is going to have like a nice, nice little path. If I press play, you'll see it better. This one moves. And you're also, your movement is also affected by the velocity of the cell. So if I try to jump here, I can go quite far. Now, one catch though, um, if you're going to make a level and you want to submit it to become a level designer for this game, you're going to have to complete it with the three bubbles uh, collected. So make sure it's actually doable. In fact, if it's not doable, well, uh, you can't submit it, basically. That's what it means. So let me try and just try and submit this. I got to complete it first. I keep going way too far. And let's see. Maybe tweak this a little bit so I don't go as far. Or actually, I land on this. You can also reduce the cell size and add enemies. Now, I, I didn't add any enemies. I don't feel like we need some. Oh, there you go. Then we just need one cell and that's completed. Once that is completed, I can save the replay. Um, it's going to save as a file on my download folder. And then I'll hit the submit button, send that over, agree to the terms and condition, name to be credited. Um, po -po -po -po. N3K date. There. Email contact. I'll put my email. And the level difficulty. I'm gonna say this is a this is a normal level, actually. It could be much harder, but no. I'll classify that as normal. And um yeah, we'd like to get some uh, some level submitted our way. Uh we already have I think a good amount of them completed for the final game. But we're always looking for something new, something creative that you can do with these boundaries. I didn't, the couple of things I didn't show, you can also zoom out the level if you want. You can increase the speed of it by quite a lot. Assuming that, oh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Assuming you want to make it really hard, you can increase the game speed like so. And you can also slow it down if you wish. So a couple of things you could do. Uh, you know, you can play around with everything on the right hand side over here. And beneath my head, here is a trash. In case you don't want something, drag and drop in it in the trash. Okay, that's actually all I wanted to show you guys um, for today. So I will be also making another kind of video like this uh, about the LL API tutorial, the second one. 
of the second part of it. I think it's going to be released on Friday if I have some time. And we're going to be discussing the future of the multiplayer tutorial. So look out for that. Until then, guys, thank you so much for tuning in once more. Quick video, basically quick ad, but it's something that we've been at uh, recently. And I just wanted to make sure that it's out there so you guys can see it and help us make level. Cool. Catch you guys on Discord. See you there. Cheers.